Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out how you can install the Spotlight Enhanced Sync 1.2.1. You can download this off the GTA Police Mods website and it works really really well along with 5PD. I've never run into an issue with it alongside of it, so I can pretty much say this works. Anyway, uh, what it does, it allows you to have a spotlight in your vehicle or in helicopters just like this, which you can actually move around and control. Now a lot of people in my last types of videos, which which were the helicopter HUD and the helicopter camera were asking how do I use the light so we're gonna go ahead and install this to take over that lighting uh, system because I feel this works a lot better it's a better sync you can actually move the light and it's really cool so uh, by default you can press L to turn on the spotlight page up to move the spotlight up page down to move it down delete to aim left uh, and and to uh, move right but you can also change these in the 5m tab inside of your settings which is pretty cool it's also open source which is really really cool anyway all you have to do to download this is go to the gta police mods website this exact page will be linked down in the description below click download this file just agree and download to the tos and you can see it has downloaded spotlight then you're going to open this up with winzip or uh, winrar or whatever you use and we are going to install this to our server. This is a server side script, so I'm expecting you already have a server created. If you don't have a server created already, please make sure you get one done. We have a video on creating one. It's on our most popular uploads or in the description below. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up our server data folder where we install all of our resources to. Go into the resource folder, and then we're just gonna go in here. You can see there's Spotlight, and inside there's a Lula file and DLLs. All we have to do is drag this whole folder into our resource section. Then we're going to go to our server data, server.cfg file, and edit it either with Notepad or Notepad++. And then you're going to go up into the file until you can see where it says ensure or start, depending on what you have. And I'm just going to add ensure spotlight. Go ahead and save that file and exit out. You then can start up your server, and we're just going to make sure it loads properly. And then to check if it loads properly, all you have to do is wait. And then after it loads all your resources, you'll see started resource spotlight this may take a second it's connecting to our eup installation which we did in the last video so you can see it is now loading up here started resource spotlight so we have gone ahead and started up correctly we can then close off these files and just launch 5m ourselves and get in and test it out and see if it worked so i'll be right back all right so we have made it into our game here we're going to go ahead and spawn a police vehicle and we're going to go ahead and test out if our lights have worked um, I don't have a time script in the server, so I'm just going to go ahead and set it to night via our uh, settings menu here. I'm going to go over how to install a time script later this week, probably. But anyway, to turn on your light, all you have to do is press L, and you can see there's spotlight on. You can press page up to move your spotlight up, page down to move it uh, down, uh, delete to move it left, and uh, end to move it right. So you can see it lights up a lot. You can move it up the cliff. So this is pretty cool if you... Um, are using it and obviously L turns it off again. You can also get into a police helicopter or something and if you are flying this you can see if we press L again it will turn on the spotlight. Uh, there you go and then you can press play down to move it down. So if you're flying along chasing a suspect or something you obviously can have this running and you could be tracking the suspect with the light, move it left and right uh, with end and delete so you could like track this car here and you can see it really lights up the ground so you you could literally follow a suspect pretty easily with this light, and I think it comes in a lot of handy uh, just role-playing and doing other stuff. So, hopefully this does come in handy. Hopefully this was easy to use. All you have to do is it's drag and drop and then use the controls. If you want to change the key bindings, you can go to settings and then the key binds, and you can see under 5M, you can see the actions for toggle spotlight, aim spotlight down, aim spotlight right, and you can change them all there, which is really cool. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this did help you, and I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.